This is a Ticket Tip Tuesday that almost didn't happen. Why? Because it's Christmas time. It's Ticket Tip Tuesday. Should you decorate your house if it's for sale during the holidays? If you have your house for sale and you're kind of questioning the fact if you should decorate for the holidays, this is five tips just to help you along the way of decorating your home for the holidays. I know some real estate agents will flat out tell you do not put up any kind of holiday decorations, but I lean on the fence of no, go ahead and put up something, but be tasteful. So like I said, I'm just gonna give you five ways to decorate your house for the holidays that doesn't scream Christmas! I know this is gonna sound like one of these bah humbug kind of moments, but I know that when you have your house up for sale, a Christmas tree can take over a huge space. So I would strongly suggest you kind of forego the Christmas tree. If you really feel like that you need to have some kind of Christmas tree, get a small like decorative tree, something that doesn't take up a huge space in your living area. Again, you wanna make the space look not cluttered and Christmas decorations in a big giant Christmas tree can make a space look very cluttered. So I know, I'm sorry, but X nay on the Christmas tree. I'm a firm believer in staging with what you've got. I've already cleared off this area right here and to give it a more holiday feel without screaming Christmas, I just put this little reindeer up here and then I'm gonna use this as a centerpiece right here. And what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna create a little area where it looks like people are gonna be sitting down for dinner. Um, normally I would have a placemat, but I really wanna just not focus on too much busyness on the table and make the space look just inviting and warm. So I'm gonna put out a, a white plate. I'm gonna put out um, a napkin and some silverware in the center. So that way it gives it the Christmas feel, but without screaming Christmas. And this will be more inviting to buyers because they'll be wanting to sit down and have a dinner with their own family. And it doesn't make them feel like it's they're intruding in your life. It makes them want to imagine themselves in this house. So I know it might be tempting. You see these nice empty shelves and you have all these cute little reindeers and nutcrackers and you want to fill up these shelves with as much Christmas as possible. Well, I'm telling you, don't make that space look cluttered. You really wanna show in the features that make the house stand out, like these built-in cabinets. So you're gonna just want to actually probably remove something from here and then replace it with something Christmassy. But I would not fill up this whole entire cabinet with Christmas, just little touches of Christmas. So it makes you still feel like you're in the holiday spirit, but it won't put off buyers. So you've been debating on whether you should decorate the outside of your house for Christmas. I would strongly suggest against it. If you wanted to add a little bit of Christmas cheer and a little bit of festivity, you just can add some simple wreaths to your front door. But to add all those lights on your house well, during the day, it doesn't look as pretty as it does at night. So I really do think it detracts from the look of your home when you're trying to sell it. So I strongly suggest do not put up Christmas lights, um, but you know, some beautiful wreaths are just fine. So you've received a beautiful candle from a neighbor and it's Vermont pine and you think it smells absolutely amazing. But the problem with that is, is that many buyers find them offensive. So if you were thinking about lighting the candles to make it smell like Christmas, I say just don't. I would just go ahead and go with the natural smell of your home. Many of these scented candles and uh, the ones that you put, those plugins that you put in the wall, buyers are offended by it. So just let your house smell like it normally smells. One of the tips I will give you to make your house smell nice and fresh is that you can you can actually boil some cinnamon sticks and that gives it the nice cinnamon smell in the house so it's not overwhelming. Um, some people will actually put orange peels in it. Uh, those are nice fresh smells but don't light up candles that have that artificial pine scent. They, are, they do offend some buyers. So on my previous video, I told you if you have a very plain looking couch, it's really good to add a pop of color. So before we change it with a nice earthy orange pillow, but since it's Christmas time and we're just gonna add a little bit of Christmas spirit, I have these uh, pillows here. So we're gonna put those out on the couch. Um, this might actually be screaming Christmas a little too much, but you know, if you wanna have be in that Christmas spirit and not be too cluttery, this is the way to do it. Just add a little bit of Christmas. I'm also going to um, replace the uh, afghan that's on the couch too. It's a beige afghan, but we're gonna replace it with this nice Christmas colored uh, afghan. It has all the Christmas colors in it, so that will give it nice pops of color on this plain gray couch. 
In my previous video last week, I talked about staging your living room and the fireplace being a focal point. We're still going to keep this as a focal point since it is a great selling feature of the house, but you can add a little bit of Christmas spirit. So I just think two simple stockings that match over the mantle looks nice and warm and inviting. And I'm just gonna add these little creatures on top just to kind of add it a little bit more flair. And again, it's always really nice if you can have the fireplace going during your showings, as long as you're gonna be able to turn it off in time and keep it safe for your home. Look, I know lots of real estate agents will tell you, don't decorate for the holidays. I think if you do it tastefully and with the tips that I give you, you'll be fine. I don't think it's anything that's too uh, overwhelmingly Christmas for people. I think if you do it tastefully and you're not just filling up every space with tons of Christmas stuff and you let go of the Christmas tree this year, I think you'll be just fine for your buyers. If you'd like some more tips and tricks about buying and selling your home, you can always visit my website at yourrealestatewhisperer.com. If you'd like to watch some more videos about selling your home, you can go ahead and click the playlist right here. My name is Christina Smallhorn, your real estate whisperer for Ascension Parish, and I tell you all this because you matter. If you'd like to watch some more videos about selling your home, you can go ahead and click the playlist right here. If you'd like to watch some more videos about staging your home that have nothing to do with the holidays, go ahead and click the playlist right here. If you'd like to subscribe, click here. And if you wanna visit my website, click right here. 